People say, Uncle Kage, why do you drink? <laughs> <laughs> I drink to dull the pain. <laughs> Give the man a drink. Can you really blame him for being a near alcoholic at this point? I would be too if I were a part of the furry fandom. Poor Kage there has spent years going around to different conventions and gatherings and promoting the exact same message. Don't embarrass the fandom. In fact, that clip is from a video called Furries Ruin Everything. And his message is pretty succinct. It's pretty clear and to the point. Don't make an ass of yourself. Don't walk around in fetish gear. Don't do weird shit in hotel lobbies. Stay the fuck away from the mainstream media. They will make you look retarded. Well, if his liver wasn't dead before, it sure as shit is going to be today after we do our deep dive. Let me introduce you to somebody. Somebody that goes by the name Caro the Wolf. He's got a, a sizable YouTube channel. I mean, look at those metrics. Over 100,000 subscribers. He's got a decent-sized following on Twitter. And why wouldn't people want to follow him? I mean, look at that bio. A wildlife advocate. Carol loves the animals. He, he really deeply, truly loves the animals. You're going to see how much Caro loves those fucking puppers. Hi, I'm Kiro. And I'm not your average YouTuber. Here, I do things a little bit different. Take a look. Oh, he definitely does things differently. I can confirm that. He, uh, he does it differently than pretty much anybody on the face of the earth. Anybody with a moral fucking compass. Now, Carol found himself in a bit of a controversy when leaks began to happen about three to four days back. Logs were dumped on Twitter and other social media platforms surrounding him and a group of friends that were involved in a, uh, a chat with one another talking about particular interests. A very niche kind of particular interest. Things they shared in common. Content warning. Zoophilia. Animal abuse. Pedophilia. Carol the Wolf is part of a circle of furries who participate in not only zoophilia, but also necrophilia, animal torture, and discussion of pedophilia. Here's the evidence. There are many, but I'll focus on him. This content was compiled by the now defunct Zoodonym. I'll get more into this later. A few things before I start posting. I don't know who any of these individuals are. These screen caps date back literal years. I don't know who Zoodonym is. Now, Mordecai is referring to the user that initially dumped this stuff onto the internet. This account has been deleted, and you're looking at screen caps from the archive of it. But when they initially dumped the logs, essentially they said that they wanted to get the information out there. Now, one of the counterclaims that has been raised to them bringing this information public is that it surrounds their jealousy over the person we're talking about. That they're upset that they got an interview with a, a bigger YouTuber. But one thing to take into account when we look at all this crazy shit we're about to look at is the fact that this guy didn't just talk about Kiro, but talked about multiple other people that were in this group. You can see when you look through their tweet archive, they, they bring up person after person. So it's not like it was a targeted thing at just one guy. They threw this allegation out against pretty much everybody. Let's take a step back though. Let's go back to that initial Zoodonym post. What was the impetus for this? What compelled him to come forward with this information on people that he knew? I think, uh, I think it was number four. We should zoom in on number four. That's a real cherry out of the entire tweet chain. Some of these people were my friends. I burnt relationships I had with others for years for this. But you know what? When I find out my friend fucked a puppy to the point of splitting it open and left it for dead, that's not a fucking friend. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? I think this is a good place to pause it for a second and let you go get a barf bag handy. Because uh, we're going to be looking at some pretty fucked up shit. Even by furry standards, some pretty fucked up shit. That's a little appetizer. Now, as an aside to all this, Zero did put out a statement about his side of the story. And uh, his side of the story was, I was super hacked. Furries and drama. Before you guys go around believing these rumors about me, know the facts. My account was hacked. I would never do any of these things. These are faked conversations. All of this is someone trying to get attention. They're called trolls. If you choose to believe it without thinking about it logically, then fine. Become that troll online who has that mob mentality. But please always look at both sides first. I didn't do this. It should be obvious that these logs are fake. They don't even talk like me. And he even went a step further by logging into the service to show that there was a, a different IP address that it was coming from Iran when he's based in the United States. 
Now, I'm no tech expert. I can't tell you if this is a nefarious plan by a group of internet trolls to target Zero and a, a collective of furries. But some people did pick up on some key details when he posted his screen cap showing that he had been hacked from Iran. Dude says he was hacked, shows Telegram sessions from Iran as evidence, only to post another screenshot with the Android VPN icon key in his status bar. Hey, so in the top right of the screenshot you provided, you literally still have VPN on, the key icon. So if you want to keep the I was hacked narrative, that's uh, not recommended. Oopsie, looks like somebody might have fucked up a little bit. I haven't heard an excuse this good since a kid got a virus in Roblox. Oh my god, mom! I had a computer virus, and I got scared that I had the virus, and when I was getting out of my chair, my pants were slipping, and I was pulling them up and getting back on the chair. I am serious! I'm serious! I had a virus! After my accusations yesterday, a few individuals who I will not name here asked me where I sourced my claims from. After sharing a telegram that Zudnim set up to leave evidence behind, we waded through it. Here are saved conversations Kiro the Wolf had. Well, let's jump into these conversations and see what we can find. Sorry for not responding last night. I passed out. But yeah, I'm okay with necro stuff if it's not that bloody. But I'm totally against killing for sex. I only do it with roadkill. Oh, that boy ain't right. How dare you, sir? How dare you slander me? I don't fuck animals to death. I fuck roadkill. When I see a man hit a deer, I get an erection. When somebody kills a possum with a pickup truck, I go put my penis inside the holes that emerge from the body. If you've ever hit a squirrel with a shovel, ring me up because it's love-making time. This is apparently from a conversation that Kiro had with somebody by the name of Snake Fang. Oh, cub porn. Love, 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 love. I always loved puppy butt. Same. I need some puppy booty. Same. Let's go grab ourselves a real cub. And an animal. Let's make some rare shit. And that picture's been edited for your sanity. Ooh, that would be hot. Oh, and it would be. I'm okay with humping a four-month-old. Same. Sorry, I'm a yiffy. Das okay. Me too. Snake Thing decided to send some animation clips to him, and Carol responded as well, but neither of those are showing up. You can thank your gods, whoever they may be, for granting you that small mercy. Oh, my dick could fit in there. Same. They all need a dick. Ugh. Yeah. Hugs. God, I love puppy breath and their saliva is nice too. Same here. Hugs. Fantastic. It is. I've played with two pups so far. Oh. Story time. OXD. They were just my dogs growing up. I only fingered their throats and put my pinky up their butts. In fealty of the God Emperor, our undying Lord, and by the grace of the Golden Throne, I declare exterminatus. Daw, still sounds nice. It was. I love their mouths. Heart. Aw, oh, yes. It's almost impossible to get good roadkill out here, too. Aw, I need fox booty and deer butt. <laughs> I need anything. XD. Now, you may have noticed in the conversation that Zero was having with other people that uh, aside from just images that were being shared, GIFs and uh, animations were as well. And in the info dump, uh, videos were included. Well, there's no way in hell Google will ever let me show that shit on YouTube. Luckily for us, a brave soul on Twitter took it upon themselves to go watch all these videos and give a detailed description of exactly what each one included. Hey, just so y'all know, like, if you don't have the stomach to watch the videos of Caro doing shit to these innocent animals, I'm going to give you an extremely triggering thread of what I saw. There's so much more than just, he's a zoophile. Buckle up, buckaroo! Video 1. Caro in a suit head. Forces a medium-sized dog to fillet several sex toys. Then the real thing. He anally penetrates the dog afterwards. The dog runs out of the video several times and retracts and gags from the abuse. Video 2. A tied and muzzled German Shepherd is vaginally raped. Video 3. The corpse of a deer is used as a sex toy while its blood is smeared on Kiro's leg. Video 4. A small dog is anally and orally raped. Video 5. 
A puppy is drugged and strapped to a log. It is anally and vaginally raped with the wide end of a baseball bat. Until blood is visible on the bat, the dog begins to visibly spasm. Update. More videos have been found, including someone having sex with the decapitated head of a small puppy. Update 2. Not all of the suitors in the videos are Caro. I was mistaken. But the deer video is confirmed Caro. I won't link the videos as they're too disturbing. And frankly, I could go to jail for distributing content. I'm done watching videos like these. They've unnerved me greatly. But a report on the findings of others, I hope you can forgive me. Jesus fucking Christ, could it get any worse? Well, in fact, yes, it could. In January of 2017, Carol the Wolf had a dog that became ill with kidney failure and passed away. Here's a conversation he had indicating his remorse for abusing his dying dog. Screenshots from tweets around that time correlate to this being a dog that did, in fact, exist. Thank you. I left the group because it reminded me of stuff I did to him. Now that he's dying, I can't believe I did that to him. I can't be part of that group any longer. I love him so much, and when he needs me, I can't be there. I'm almost two states away, wraps my arms around you. Try not to feel too beat up about what you did, what you've done. He still loves you in the end, and I'm sure he had a blast of a time with you. With some care, he could survive until you see him again. I think, though it'd cost him, I think, but for closure for you, I think it'd be worth it. Had a blast of a time with you. Yeah, I'm sure that's a heartwarming memory for the dog. I'm sure it looks back fondly on the memories of its owner fucking it. I'm sure that's something it, it greatly and fondly remembers being raped by its owner. What a what a charming fucking uh, memory to hold on to as you're dying of kidney failure. You know, the time your owner stuck his pinky down your throat and shoved his thumb up your ass. Now, in regards to the Kiro leaks, it's still very early days. People are still parsing through all the information that was just basically dumped upon them. Some are taking up for him, starting hashtags and doing videos in his defense. Other people are just outright attacking him and saying that he is completely guilty. Time is really going to be the only indicator that's going to validate one or the other, of which of these is actually real. But there is one thing to take away from all of this, this entire disgusting clusterfuck of what's going on right now. Those videos that those people have watched, the pictures that were shared back and forth, that shit really does exist. Whether this was actually Kiro and a group of people he associated with, or whether that was a group of trolls just fucking with people. That content was created by furries. There are fursuiters out there that are fucking puppies with baseball bats and decapitating them and fucking their heads. There are people out there banging the corpses of deers in the fucking woods. There are people that share erotica when it relates to molesting puppy dogs and screwing roadkill. There is an actual section of the furry fandom that is into that shit. I think people forget why it was the internet started to hate furries in the first place. It was their constant need to insert themselves into other communities, to flood certain image boards and shit them up, to share their degenerate artwork, and to facilitate the creation of this kind of content, where some retard in a mascot uniform is banging woodland creatures and fucking them to death in a forest. That's what kind of drew the hatred in. That's kind of what made people not like them in the first place. So how the fuck do you end a video like this? What's your, what's your closing statement on this kind of degeneracy? On this absolute fucked up nature of a group of individuals that run around dressed like this, doing this sort of shit? Like, how do you, how do you segue out of that? What's your outro? I say, you end it on a fucking song. An oldie, but a goodie. <laughs> I will take vengeance upon mine enemies. Down. 
One of the most hateful videos I've seen in a long time. Let me show you the part that I'm talking about in particular. That content was created by furries. There are fursuiters out there that are fucking puppies with baseball bats and decapitating them and fucking their heads. There are people out there banging the corpses of deers in the fucking woods. There are people that share erotica when it relates to molesting puppy dogs and screwing roadkill. There is an actual section of the furry fandom that is into that shit. No, there's there's no section for that. It's as much of a section as it is in any other uh, community of, of pictures of sexual fetishes or whatever. It's underground because it's known that it's messed up. It's not just some section, it's not something they promote. Furries are about anthropomorphized animals. Kind of cartoon animals. It's It's a fantasy. It's something where the animals can talk, they can communicate, they can consent. 